We've known about dark matter since the 1930s. It is the longest standing unsolved problem in modern astrophysics. Dark matter and dark energy pose significant mysteries, overshadowing what we do comprehend. We understand a force that draws galaxies closer and maintains their orbits. Simultaneously, dark energy propels the universe's accelerated expansion. However, the particles behind these phenomena remain elusive. Some scientists argue with evidence that dark matter isn't real. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson contends it's an illusion lacking actual existence. What backs this assertion? Let's delve in. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Welcome to the perplexing realm of dark matter. As we venture deeper into the expanses of space, scientists worldwide are crafting pioneering experiments to unveil the essence of this enigma. What precisely is this concealed force, and why are we so convinced of its existence despite never directly observing it? Guided by theories, these experiments propose that if dark matter adheres to a certain type, it should interact with ordinary particles in a specific, albeit rare, manner. Consequently, monumental experiments have been initiated to detect dark matter particles. If this supposition holds true, given that we possess five times more dark matter, it implies a substantial quantity of regular matter resides in another universe. If our dark matter equates to their regular matter, it may escape our universe and enter another one. The gravitational strength diminishes significantly as it departs, signifying that it must be even more potent than a mere factor of six. It's a colossal universe. Wouldn't it be peculiar if, one day, we discovered that we are just one of many insignificant entities within a much larger and more potent universe serving as a satellite universe to it? We yearn for this to be true, but none of our colleagues are leaning in that direction. Hence, the prevailing hypothesis is the existence of an alternative particle or a family of particles that differ from the familiar electron, proton, and neutron, ones that do not interact with our particles in any chemical manner. Light would effortlessly pass through them, and the only perceptible effect would be their gravity. Although it lacks the charm of contemplating the existence of another universe, this perspective isn't problematic. The reason we entertain this notion is that we have conversed with experts in the field of field theory. Field theory involves the generation of forces on objects and was originally introduced by Michael Faraday because no one could envision describing something invisible that exerts an influence on other entities. To facilitate calculations and various applications, he introduced this concept, anchoring it in the language of physics. In field theory, it appears that light and the forces associated with it, including electromagnetic forces, are confined within our space-time and cannot extend beyond it. However, gravity possesses the capability to transcend our universe and move between universes. If this conjecture holds true, a neighboring universe within this higher dimensional construct might allow gravity to spill into our universe, leading us to perceive it as a magical, unseen entity when, in reality, it is a tangible presence just beyond our metaphorical doorstep. For numerous years, the cosmos was thought to be intertwined with strands of an enigmatic substance known as dark matter. Mathematical models boldly asserted that an astonishing three-quarters of all the matter in the universe consisted of this elusive entity, concealed and quietly influencing the gravitational behavior of galaxies and clusters. However, a perplexing question emerges. What if dark matter, as mystifying as it may sound, does not actually exist? A groundbreaking paper recently published in the Astrophysical Journal introduces this radical concept. Scientists have meticulously examined the orbital velocities of distant stars, unveiling subtle inconsistencies that shed light on an unusual gravitational phenomenon. This phenomenon, referred to as the external field effect, has been observed in over 150 galaxies. These findings point toward a modified Newtonian dynamics theory commonly known as MOND. In contrast to conventional concepts built upon the foundational principles of Isaac Newton and refined by Einstein, Mondi proposes a more nuanced perspective. It suggests that gravity induces a minute acceleration, discernible only in massive celestial objects, thus rendering the need for dark matter obsolete. 
Nevertheless, not everyone subscribes to this theory. While Mond has withstood numerous scientific evaluations, skeptics argue that certain cosmic phenomena, such as the bullet cluster of colliding galaxies, remain unexplained by it. Mond may represent a minority viewpoint, but its predictions consistently align with astronomical observations, further fueling the ongoing debate. So if dark matter does indeed exist, what is it? It is likely a category of particles yet to be discovered with an exceedingly low probability of interaction with our familiar class of particles – electrons, protons, neutrons, and even light. In essence, it might belong to an entirely separate particle family that simply does not interact. However, if it possesses mass, it will exert a gravitational effect, which is why it is termed dark matter. It is matter and gravity coexisting with us without direct interaction. This concept might sound peculiar. Imagine a substance so enigmatic that, while it exerts influence over the vast reaches of the universe, it remains concealed from our most advanced instruments. Comprising nearly 85% of the universe's matter, dark matter neither emits, absorbs, nor reflects light. It functions as the silent guardian of the universe, shaping galaxies and directing their movements, yet never revealing its presence directly. Numerous theories have attempted to elucidate the nature of dark matter. Some propose that it consists of weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs, while others suggest it could be composed of primordial black holes or even elusive neutrinos. As we delve deeper into the quest to comprehend its intricacies, a central mystery looms over our understanding. In this vast cosmic ballet where galaxies collide, stars explode, and particles annihilate one another, why does dark matter remain so aloof, refusing to interact with the ordinary matter that constructs the world we know? Why does it exhibit no interaction at all with regular matter? It's not hard to imagine two things that don't interact with each other. Think of the windows in your house. They let visible light through, but not heat, infrared. You can test this by trying to feel the heat from a match or candle on one side of the window while standing on the other side. The visible light goes through, but the heat doesn't. Our world is full of things that interact or don't interact with various forms of energy. For instance, your phone can receive a call even if you're in a room with no windows because the signal comes through walls. It only interacts with your phone when it arrives. Now, there's a tiny particle called a neutrino that hardly interacts with anything. To detect a neutrino, you'd need a massive column of lead that's light years long. And even then, the neutrino might just pass through. Scientists are exploring the idea that there might be other particles that interact with us even less than neutrinos do. These could be the particles that make up dark matter. Researchers are working on experiments to try and detect them, hoping that dark matter doesn't completely avoid interaction, but only rarely does so. Dark matter is one of the universe's greatest mysteries. It keeps most of its secrets hidden, only giving us hints through gravity. But as we advance in technology and knowledge, we get closer to understanding its true nature. If we can figure out what dark matter is and how to detect it, it could open up new possibilities for our understanding of the universe. It's like when we discovered radio waves. At first, they passed through us unnoticed, but once we learned how to detect and use them, they transformed into things like music and TV. Similarly, with dark matter, once we understand it, 